and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Grandia 2. I'm your host, Nick Legato, and we are inside the body of Elmar. <laughs> that doesn't mean much, but, you know, right now it's just the three Garbanzos. Ryudo, Merig, and Tio. So that's all we've got going for us, so we got to be trying to be as careful as mice here, as we will be going up against some of the nasty things that live in the bowels of Almar here. Okay, and Nyarmut, Nyarmut, um, much like the Ogre Queen, or the Ogre or whatever, um, they're nasty, they smell kind of funny, but, you know, the best we can really do to start a weakening them is use some AoE. And we'll start there. By giving them the shocker. Diggy! I used to call these guys Nimrods, and I don't even remember why. There we go, causing, bringing on the pain. Let's go ahead and let Ryudo pick them off. That way we only do damage from one of these Peckerwoods. He's about to hit us in a very nasty way. And I don't think we're going to get time to cancel them out, so that was probably a mistake. Ooh, 500 big ones to the face. Now you're going to get it, Bobby. Slice, we dice, and we make french fries of three different sizes! Well, there's an easy victory. As you notice, still, Merrick has no real skill investments other than his real stuff. So there's a lion harp, lion boots, and lion axe. Um, it's always questionable who, what to put on who. I actually put the lion boots usually on T.O. And it'll be explained later why. But there's a reason. There's actually a good reason for it. Actually, the holy clothes are better than the halo armor. Wow. Too bad I don't really care. All right, let's get back to work here. So we did that. Let's go ahead and head through here. As we're in another battle, another new enemy this time. Some more local yokels. The salamandile. So salamander plus crocodile equals salamandile. If I even said that right. I don't even know if that even came out right. As usual, we open up with a zap. Because it causes major death and destruction. <laughs> Giggity! Time to gib. Like, you've never seen me gib before. You can see it works perfectly. Like a, like a glove. So sweet, easy win. Let's keep moving. Um, two different directions for us to go. I think this is a dead end. And is it? No, no, no. Two directions we can go. Then one of these is a dead end with gold in it. Money! Sweet. I got me some money. So grab that. Let's keep moving. Alright, and then another, uh, another battle here. Easy win. Um, that leads down there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That leads back the way I came. So this is the right way. We gotta slice through another stick here. We're introduced to another new enemy. Nothing too threatening. You know, these are undead, and the halo weapon that um, Tio carries is actually anti undead. So, undead don't like it. Let's use it on the evil maneuver. Show that punky boss. Yeah, I'm okay, maybe we didn't show him his boss, but he ain't showing us shit, so it wasn't ain't that bad. <laughs> so you know, let's finish him off here. Did we get a seat of sight. Always, and I, you notice I also haven't used any of the seeds yet, guys. That's a big thing to mention. I've not used a single leveling seed. Ah, crap. Yeah, okay, we're probably gonna have to fight another one of these battles in a moment because I know there's another gator base out there lurking for me in the darkness. Let's see. Well, there's some gold here. Keep heading through, and we'll cut through here. And we're 
fight these this time here. All right, easy kill. And what is this, an empty room? I went through all this trouble for the empty room? Ugh. Wait a minute, no, there was something in there. Gotta stop doing drugs. All right, kick that dude's ass. We've got us a Thor stone, another thing that I can waste in the middle of the battle. And that will prove to have some use, but minute use nonetheless. All right, beat them. We keep moving along, sing, moving along. Singing a song to find a way to survive. Survive, and I'm lost. What the fuck is that? Looks like a tumor. I'm not a tumor. I'm a button. Actually, no, it is a tumor. Look at shooting bubbles out of it. I'm sure that can't be healthy. I'm a tumor. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, you know what? This Let's Play has been very straightforward. I, I've just been in a. It, it, unable to come up with good jokes this time around. And we're walking through the cavern. Probably gonna have to fight some kind of enemy in here in a moment. Nice. So now we've got our bridge of shame-filled bubbles. Kind of looks like when that. Kind of looks like uh. Oh, I can't even think of the disease. Oh, well. Bridging gaps, that's what we do as we head into the dark depths of Velmar's moon. I forgot, we're not in a body, so that my whole joke about that made no sense. See, that's how tired I am. And kind of bummed and whatnot about things going on, but that's just the way it is, guys. You'll have to... I'm sorry you have to endure. As I chop my way through to a whole lot of nothing. So let's go back this way. I know there's monies to be found around here. So. Speaking of the devil. Speak of the devil! The devils. Back the way I came? That goes back the way I came. What the hell is that? Hmm. Let's see, I came in. It's over here, nothing. Enemies. And nothing. Alright, now that I've dealt with a whole lot of nothing over here, let's head back out. This probably hurts something. Mm. Let's keep moving. Enemies! Alright, so we did that. So, let's see. I'm trying to figure out which way actually has the better stuff. Alright, let's keep moving. We get another demon ash like we care. We don't even use the other. Only person using one is Merrick. I believe. I believe. Now he's got the demon's tear. What's the key to ash? Okay, well, it's obviously not what I thought it was. What is the demon's ash? Is it a bubble? There it is. All variable levels. Ooh, okay, that's kind of a nice little thing there. I I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, well, let's keep moving. Back now. Back to where we need to be going. We find a chest. Mystic Veil, Miracle Elixir, and a Silver Feather. You know, I don't even use those Silver Feathers very often anyway. The Mystic Veil. What is the Mystic Veil? It should be... Something here. The Resist Dress and the Holy Clothes. Huh? Well, we're gonna go ahead with the Resist Dress. Resist dress. I'm not sure what the Mystic Veil is. I guess it's not a weapon. It's not a piece of armor. Well, if, it's, if I don't remember what it is, it's obviously not that important. So we're gonna keep moving on. And then somebody's gonna be like, That's the greatest thing you can ever find, man. Alright, kick that dude's butt. Let's see here. We move up and around. Right, there's some enemies hiding out there, so we don't want to be fooled by that. Okay. Keep moving. In the moving. Let's see what's going here. Head around. Let's get to fight with these guys. Sweet. Should be some treasure around here somewhere. I always forget where it is, too. Um. Oh, hello. You got me there. Right, let's pick a fight here. Ooh. 
Alright, let's see. Yeah, and this leads me somewhere else, so I get the feeling I'm missing something. I'm gonna get a panacea, so... And I know there's something called an indigo... There's an indigo potion around somewhere, so... It's obvious I've missed something, so let's backtrack just a little bit. This shouldn't be very far away, because I know these two treasures were really close to each other. So, obviously, I didn't go around the right way. So we gotta go back and fight the alligator twins here. Come out of your whore! Alright. Let's keep moving here. Let's walk, walk, walk. Oh! Alright, big win there. Nothing over here. Oh, there it is. I knew there was an indigo potion here, and I'm just sitting here going, why can't I find it? Where did he go? Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? And I think I'm going backwards, so let's go back the way I came. Running, running, running. Go from here. Is that where I found the thing? No, okay. So we're back on track. We should be back on track now. To an area with a whole lot of nothing. That's fine, because we really want to go through here. And we reach a save point. Let's go ahead and exploit it, because we're probably hurting for MP. You can choose to upgrade powers now, but I'm going to wait on that, because we still got a third section of the moon here to go. So until we've completed all the different sections here, I you know would rather wait on that. So, whatever. Let's see. All these little buttons, and I don't like a, a, I don't like a, I don't like a one of them. That didn't do anything. You know, these are all probably doing things like making monsters come after me. And we'll fight these guys. Nice. Okay. Stepped on that thing. Go back this way because I know there's an item over here. Yeah, all right. Step on that. Let's see. Um, just follow this wall is really where you want to go to get this, and then by pressing, I think all the different things, it'll actually drop this. I think. I don't know if it's just pressing that one that'll do it, but whatever. We get the moonstone armor. You might be tempted very much to use the moonstone armor on. Merig, but I would suggest holding off. Magic block resistance, and we get poison, plague, and paralysis. That just gives us magic block. I don't care so much for the magic block resistance, personally. Even though the defense is a little higher, I prefer to have the paralysis immunity, since a lot of the locals around here are hitting with electric. Alright, killed him. Let's hit that. And move on across. that we get ourselves the reflect helm I believe it reflects damage back to an enemy if you're hit with it sometimes reflects damage reduces IP slowing you know it, 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 this is probably the better deal so I'm gonna go with that whereas you could have the adamant the adamantine helmet but I mean like I said Merrick's pretty much we don't need to mess with him very much right now all right easy win Keep moving here. Doo -doo -doo. Um, is that Scarlet Potion, you say? That means there's... Um, oh, look out! New enemy here! <laughs> Finally got some variation for a change. Maybe not a good type, but the Dragon Knights! You can hit them with the usual ro rope -a of lightning and rage. Concentrated rage brought to you by... Uh, by Ryudo here, but let's see how this fares. Did that say lightning dra oh, no. dragon? No, Dragon Knight. Well, whatever. They shouldn't be too tough. We're giving him the shocker. Oh god damn it, they're resistant to it. And whichever one's closest will go for it. Nice. Let's try using boom, but I think they'll move out of the Ooh, we're gonna get hit by a dragon bat. You know, I think I'm gonna cancel that out. Cause yeah, I I cast dragons out. I don't want to be hit by it. 
I like casting it, I don't like being hit by it so much. Let's go ahead and pick a fight there. Let Keo take care of the little guy. There we go, and the battle is won. It's not too tough, but remember, like I said, a lot of the enemies are starting to use very, very nasty attacks, specifically lightning-based, which is why I kept the, the armor that protects me from paralysis. I mean, that, you just you can't beat it. You've got to want it that bad. You know, you're going to want to protect yourself that badly, and that's kind of where I draw the best line I can for most players is to... You're looking at armor that protects you from status effects. All right, simple enough. Let's head underneath the pathway here. Oh, crap. All right. You heard him. Nothing withstands my blade. All right, we get some gold. And, and it's really, this is very linear. It's just a straight path from here on to the exit. Okay, killed that. Let me see here. Gotta head over this little bridge thing here. All right, won that. So let's keep moving. Here we go. We're dropping enemies down from the tops of little pillars here. So we can fight them. Alright, simple enough. Get us some gold. We're almost to the end, guys. We're almost there. So we head up and around. Little bad guy. Alright, easy kill. And this. And that should lower that sucker. Cross. Maybe we finally find some gold. And some enemies! Sweet. And it does nothing. We got Scattering Stone, Moonlight Tiara is really the item of importance out of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and equip that now, shall we? Moonlight Sonata, Moonlight Tiara. Confusion and Blizzard resistance. Yeah, nothing's worse than a confused Tio with magic. Raging from her body. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's fight this guy. Alright. More than that. Let's knock that as that should create a little staircase for us. And we can go exploit the save point as usual. Before we though can however, before we continue, we've got skill coins, which mean pumping up the damage. Um, let's go ahead and level up T Flying Tensei Ken and Purple Lightning. That maxes out everything for Ryudo at this point. We don't have enough to max out Fast Dance World, but let's put one in Tornado. Then we should be able to max it maybe through one more dungeon or two. Um, but after that, I mean, it's going to be mostly Elena getting most of the skill coins after that. The Star Egg. Invest in that a little bit. Max out the low-level stuff. Specifically the resurrect. Um, there we go. That makes me happy. What about you? You're pretty good. You're at level three on almost everything. And Zap didn't get quite get there. Oh well, that's about as good as it gets. But for the most part, that's pretty much what we want. Skills, as you can see, we still can't level up skills any higher. We're not at the appropriate level to do so, but we're getting there. We'll get there. In due course, of course. Okay, alright, so we've done that. Let's go ahead and keep heading into the Valmar's womb. Hmm. What is. What can we find here? There's Elena. Yeah, great. I'm sure he's wooing her with his all-powerful power of seduction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna save the world, so you sociopath. Let's see here. I wanted to 
save people. Yeah, well, whatever. Oh god. Just tell her to shut up already. Yes, you have, just as he told you. Uh oh. He's gonna remove him. Don't you touch my wing, you bad, bad man. This is not going. going very well. As it appears, we are being uh, stopped, I think. What is this? Looks like a kind of a kinky little curve toy. And then get three feet of steel. <laughs> Sounds like a stiff uh, order there, Ryuta. Let's show them how it's done. As we are thrown into a boss battle. This is against the Guardian. Now there's bits all over the place. And for the most part, bits can kind of be ignored. They're they're not as dangerous as the Guardian. And though they, they'll usually just self-destruct in your face, or not self-destruct, but they do something. Voltage, five, but it's like a desperate blow, and it does decent physical damage, and it kills usually the, the bit. Um, but if you focus all your concentrated rage on the Guardian, usually you'll be pretty safe. And as you can see, bits usually get in the way of what you're doing anyway, so... We'll open up with a Sky Dragon Slash and remove from this world some bits. It's Meteor Strike, the main body here. We've been Small talking about enemies, using it. You shall let's get, be let's get, let's get it put to Take work here. That. We should have two Sky Dragon Slashes Dragon available to us. Slash. Though I probably will use, not use both, use it twice in a row. It's kind of frivolous. As you can see, we did some serious damage. Yeah. Here we go. The argued strongest single target earth spell in the game, or boom spell, fire and earth, the meteor strike. Though I like kaboom better because it hits all enemies on the screen, but to each his own. Kaboom ammo! Something out of, an out of an Independence Day movie or some crap. Out of one of those epic movies type thing. Well, the arms are doing something, but they haven't really figured out what they're doing, so let's go ahead and try and cancel it out. Which we couldn't do, surprisingly. Or is that a bit? That's a bit. That's what that is. The bastard is using a bit. Okay. That's fine. Be that way. We'll gad zap you instead. This wailing sickle may not be stoppable, and he's gonna get it before we get a chance to attack, so that was kind of a bad idea. We're gonna get pretty much raped by this thing. But remember, we have all heal scrolls and other things to recover our health, so we'll probably do that this turn with Merig. No way we can use an AoE skill through Tio. It'll, get, it'll figure itself out in some ways. And... But first things first, we give him the Shocker. Oh yeah! As we get a graphical error. <laughs> Holy crap, we can't see him! Well, it was kind of helping, but then we got stuck again. I have to change that somehow. Um, because SP allows, let's go with Tornado. There we go. You can see we're not doing great huge amounts of damage, but we're doing the best that we can. I just got, I love that little meteor floating by, just like, oh, that's it. And then, bam, big ass one comes down on your face. Cripple ammo! Oh, yeah, he's half dead right about now. And we're going to have Ryudo heal when his turn comes up, because that's about where we're at. Release this will give the rest of the bits that are out there. Which can be a good thing at the, at the moment. So we'll take care of that now. It'll also relocate the character. So only the big body, the main body will get a turn to move here. That's how I prefer it. There goes the bits. So he's all by himself. He's going to summon some more bits. Which we can sky dragon slash if we need to. Well, he only summoned one actually. Well, that's not too bad. 
Let's go ahead and heal up because we don't know what's going to be happening in the next couple of moves. So healing is good. We could also hit him with a dragon zap too. We should be able to get the bit in there as well. So we may not have to use something as overpowering as Sky Dragon Slash. Depending if we can pull this off. There's the bit. As you can see, this isn't a tough boss battle for you guys. We're just blowing the crap out of them. If you're having any trouble in this battle, spam something like Lotus Flower because you can cancel out all the bits if you're being overwhelmed by bits. You can actually hit like three of them, two to three of them per turn if you plan your strategy right. Now he's gonna snooze us? I don't think so. If I can prevent it. Now I gotta hold I gotta hold him off. There we go. No, we prevented it from happening. But now we mean me one might be hitting us with something a little nastier. Eh, what the hell? He's just doing it again. Come on, you wanna do it again? Do it again. See if I care. I think two people are immune to it, so I guess I shouldn't have cared so much. One of the heads looks like one of the baby heads that's connected to the other baby head looks like that monster from uh from uh, oh what's it called? From the thing, the movie the thing. Oh well. Let's go ahead and rock his socks. Sworn enemies, you shall be defeated! Oh yeah. Take that! Sky Dragon Slash! Yeah, that one there in the front. <laughs> so there, he's out of minions, so it's a one-on-one -on -one showdown, really, because Merig and Teal are snoozing away. Let's see what we can do about that. Is they both move at about the same rate. Yeah, don't summon your demons, are you? Summoning your demons, are you? Let's we'll see how much health you have, because I can probably just kill you. Oh, crap. There's like three of them now. Let's gad zap him and end this. Sayonara, sucker. Pick up your ass! Thunderbolt! Right! Nice. Ooh, yeah. Back, Link. You had nothing on me. And the battle is again easily won. Man, look at that. That's beautiful right there. Lots of moolah, lots of skill, special coins, lots of magic coins. We hit the mother load, baby! Woo! <coughs> We're in the money. We're in the money. Do, 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 do. Alright, now what's... Oh, God, this is starting to get creepy. Now I'm just waiting for the giant hentai tentacle monster to do its business. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Zero. We know you're psychotic. We've got to stop him. Oh, God. We wanted to be cleansed, but we didn't want to pretty much be raped of our soul. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. I have a bad feeling this is, you know, going to end very badly for somebody. Oh yeah, the power. Can't be made. She can't be made complete. He doesn't have the horns. Yeah, this is true. Oh boy! Now we're getting it. That's kind of kind of creepy, isn't it? Kind of like sick and twisted. Well, 
Whoa, where does that go? <laughs> Oh, shut up, Zara, you holy rolling bastard. <laughs> oh, well. Great, he's going to release the power of Almar. And we miss another freaking video. That is strange. Sorry, guys, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> the revival of Almar has been cut. This sound like a Sephiroth moment. Oh god. Sucking her in. This is gonna be wack. This is wack, yo. I'm, I'm disappearing. Zira, stop it! Elena, Millennia! Zira, stop spouting madness! Your perfect world, it cannot exist. Yes, a world with one perfect god. The end of death. The end of life. After the day of darkness, only my will shall remain. My perfect, absolute will. Damn it! Stop! Elena! Millennia! Return them! Return them to me! Go ahead! Shout louder! Your voice shall sound across the world and stir the slumbering god! Rita, just chop that little glass bubble thing into pieces and get it what? over with. This cannot be! Oh, is your plan not working? Okay, yeah, I was right. Tentacle rape coming up. This is not mode well. <laughs> what do you think you can do now? Come, really push your car. Yeah, no. Kinda looks like poop. Sorry, I know I'm ruining the moment for you guys. I will protect you. Holy crap. Teleportation spell for the win. Ryudo, don't forget me. Cleavage! Oh, boobies are gone. <laughs> Inside Valmar's colon it went. Valmar's colon will die! No horns? Where are the horns? <laughs> oh, no matter. The revival of Valmar has begun. Now I shall become the will of Valmar. Yeah, that was sure, Zora. Crazy bastard. This is not boding well for us at all. Yeah, I agree. We should probably get the hell out of here. I won't leave Millennia behind. I agree with I agree with the manimal. Yep. I agree again with the manimal. But before we go, there's a few things we need to take care of.
you can see all hell is pretty much breaking loose. Fire and death and rage, concentrated rage, mind you. Coming out of the ground and everywhere. Even the moon's surface is changing color. I swear, if they skip this FMV, I'm gonna be pissed. I agree. Shut up, Ryudo. I know, we all know you failed. Deal with it. Keep moving. Keep living on. Say, you know, there's still time. Stuff like that. <laughs> Even to death for little. Oh my god. Wow, Mary. That's a big thing to say there, buddy. Well, before we do anything like that, as you can see, Elena is unconscious and she starts that way. So you're going to want to make sure you revive her. So let's see. Pull, pull, where is it? Um, Yomi's elixir. You know, we could have just used magic, but I don't give a shit. You notice we're still beat up from that last battle pretty badly. Luckily, Elena's got a full. Uh, assortment of stuff available to her. Let's go ahead and where is it? Where is it? Uh, sure, why not? That way she's immune to all status effects. I can live with that. Holy egg. Let's get moved. Oh, and before we get too far, let's look at Merrick for a second. Go ahead and put the Rune Axe back on him. Actually, the Leo Rex Axe is fine. Let's go ahead and put on the... Let's say the Ninja Clothes. For, for Elena here, the Holy Clothes, that's probably the best. The Holy Clothes. Yeah, none of that. We got that. Let us change out uh, Merrick's boots here. The Man's Headband for a Priest's Hat. Demon's Tear for, uh, I don't know, a dark ring. <laughs> and we'll leave the star egg. Let's remove that. And give him a gravity egg. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's get out of here, because I won't want to run out of time. Alright, let's keep moving. So we're making our escape here. You might be wondering why would I do what I'm doing to Merig. It'll all make sense later. Not now, but later. In due course, of course, you'll know. Zap them. Zap them and trap them, baby. Giggity, 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 giggity. Probably going to be one of the longer episodes, but not by choice, but by scenario, and who wants to wait through a whole bunch of random crap? Oh, yeah. We are. Let's cut them down. Wow, they're pretty resilient, aren't they? Let's see what we can do about that, but there's not going to be much we can really do, because they're resilient. To... We've got a lot of life, too. That's probably part of the problem as well. We don't have a lot of... stuff. Wow, they're just really durable. Oh, yeah. Luckily, they don't, they're not painful, per se. They don't do lots of damage. So you can see we just chop them down to size here. Get us some more special coins rather than anything else. Just keep moving. They didn't really do much damage to us. Uh-oh. What is this thing? Holy crap. Holy crap! We're out of stuff really for Ryuta to do, so let's go ahead and use Slime Tensei Ken Slash. Luckily, Tio also has a lot of regular offensive skills, so we could use the Lotus Flower and other stuff too. Flying Tensei Ken. Oh yeah! Cutting the cheese, baby. Cutting the cheese. Let's go ahead and use Nightmare Ball. See if that'll give us any kind of hand here. Stuff of Nightmare. Yeah. I don't think it's going to really put anybody to sleep. Oh, wow, it actually worked. Ooh, what a thunk it. Time for a good old-fashioned zap straight to hell. We'll have Merig melee attack the larger and larger body part. Not knowing that, I have another I have a better strategy for that. 
And ironically, the, the young Valmar body parts can actually drop a Soul of Ashura. So, just a heads up if you were wondering, a Soul of Ashura would might be seen in your near future. As we win the battle, no Soul of Ashura though, but we get a Yomi's Elixir for it. That I remember explicitly because it's like, that's, that's a good drop. And it's very rare, so if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. There will be more opportunities to get them later, but it is nice to have one extra one, don't you think? Let's go ahead and... Uh, Dragon Zap might hit two of them, but that's a big risk. I don't think it will. I think it'll only hit one. Blue. Oh, yeah, that's pissed offness right there for you. We only hit one, unfortunately. Kinda was hoping for a, a twofer, but not happening. We're about to get hit with Tremor, too. Dag ding dong darn. But there's no reason to hold back. You may as well just go all out with every character. Since Ryudo doesn't have anything to go all out with, there's no point in going all out, right? Let's see if we, I don't think we'll be able to cancel crap out. Uh, luckily, their attacks are pretty weak. We're absorbing Tremor pretty, pretty well, so... Oh, you made me chip a nail. So Ryudo's now going in. I'm pretty much thinking for Elena, we're gonna go pretty, pretty ballsy. We're gonna go with, uh, White Apocalypse here. And then she probably won't pull that off by the time he goes. So let's go ahead and use the Lotus Flower. Lotus Flower. Cancel that out. Oh, yeah. Here we go, White Apocalypse. It's Apocalypse now, 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 Apocalypse now. To the world of darkness. Talk about raping the enemy. Oh yeah, look at that. Took one of them out pretty hardcore too. Chop him down to size. Still gonna get Tremor off on us though. Cause you can see his, his IP turnaround is really high. So no, even if you're meleeing him, you can still get a spell off if you're not careful. Let's finish him. There we go. Fortunately, we did not get a soul of Ashura, but eh, can't all, we can't get can't win them all. We are level 49. That's all we need. Ooh, yeah. Our path is in need of improvement. At this rate, we will not escape. Saber has almost no power left. Make do somehow. You must escape. You must escape. Saber, lend us your power, please. Look at Merrick going in balls deep. Merrick, we have to leave. Stay there. I can handle this. Ooh. Of course. Thanks. Uh, hold on one second, guys. Yep. Yeah, we missed it. You see this scene where he gets swarmed by all kinds of monsters that kill him, and damn, I, I that just pisses me off. We didn't get to see it. I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with that ASAP because that's starting to bug the living hell out of me. Ugh. smoke a joint I'm sure I had to change discs at some point and this is somehow using drawing data from another from the first disc or something I think is the problem 
because on the original Grandia, well, on Grandia 2 for PlayStation, it's one disc. On Grandia 2, it's two discs. And I don't remember where or when we were supposed to change discs. I never saw a moment for it, did you? So, I don't know. But it said for some reason a video was on disc 2. So as soon as I get to save, I'll probably reboot the game with disc 2 and see if that fixes anything. But that does suck, and I do apologize, guys, that you didn't get to see those scenes. But you can Google, I'm sure you could YouTube search Merrick's death and see all that jazz. We get the Misanja, or Misanga, I'm not sure what that means, but it's actually a consumable, I believe. Return skill coins used on Merig's moves, which we didn't use very many, so, you know. I guess if you really care about investing into Merig, then that's what'll come of it. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Come on. We've got to get to a save point. That's what I got. We got to get to save point. Must find save point, which should be coming up. Thank God. That way I can reboot into this too and see if that fixes some of our problems. Uh, let's go ahead to the Syrian Kingdom, which is our next stop. Right, I'm sure all hell's broken loose here as well. It is the day of darkness. Let's go ahead and go to the Syrium Inn. And on the next episode of Let's Play Grandia 2, hopefully I can figure out what the hell's going on with this FMV problem, why I'm not getting those videos for you guys, because that's actually kind of sad that you didn't get to see that. I'm actually very disappointed. It's actually enraging me. So let me see if I can boot into disc 2 and see if that's probably my problem.